Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to do some exploration on a Corps of Engineer Lake. I'd like to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a mattress for your RV, for your home? Are you still sleeping on that thin inner spraying mattress that came with your RV? Are you waking up with a stiff back or a sore neck? I know I sure did. If you want to get, wake up refreshed and rejuvenated, you might want to think about upgrading. Brooklyn Bedding has a mattress just for your situation. Best of all, their factory is right over in Arizona. They offer you a 120 night sleep guarantee, meaning you get the mattress, you sleep on it for 120 nights. When you decide that it's your mattress, they're gonna give you a 10 year warranty on that mattress. That way you can really sleep in comfort. Think about that for a moment. You get to sleep on that mattress for 120 nights. If you're not happy, you get your money back. When you decide to keep it, they give you a 10 year warranty. That's winner winner. I know when we bought Trudy Thunder, a mattress that we had on that bed was uh, it was one of them thin inner spraying mattresses and I always woke up with a, a sore back and a stiff neck and couldn't wait to get home to sleep on the number bed. Now, I don't, I don't have that issue anymore. <laughs> I, I find it hard to get up in the morning when we're in the RV. I know I love mine. I sleep better in the RV than I do at home. 120 night trial, 10 year warranty, factory in Arizona. How can you go wrong? Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding. If you wanna find your mattress, go to rvmattress.com backslash DudeRV. Remember to use the code DudeRV for the most savings you can get. Let's go back to the video. Yeah, we're set up at White Flint Park white flint campground to be more specific on belton lake it's not a real big campground there's only 13 rv sites here and i think 12 cabins of the 13 sites two are off limits they're not they're they're closed it's not gonna take us very long to see all the stuff in in this little campground so we're gonna take the show on the road baby Actually, there's a number of other parks, Corps of Engineer parks, on this end of the lake. So we're, we're actually just going to spend the day, maybe two, exploring, showing you the stuff. But we've been very happy. We got here yesterday afternoon late, but th this campground is, is really nice. It's, there's only one 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 thing that I, I can, well, there's two things that I can find to not be pleased with, and one's the, the drought, but there's, what are you gonna do about that? The lake level is extremely low. The other detractor at this particular campsite or campground, not sure, I have to, I have to check it out. It's the auditory experience, because I don't know, it's like the, the canyon, the lake, the river canyon seems to amplify the road noise off of the bridge. Uh, it was it was so, so pervasive last night when I was going to bed, I had to turn on the AC fan to mask it. But of course I was in the master bed, which has the glass facing that direction. Working with some new equipment. You can look at Sable, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be trying some, some different stuff to see, uh, just to change up the experience a little bit. Let me put on a helmet and some glasses. We'll go see some White Flint Park stuff. I'm very pleased since we arrived here at White Flint Park. One of the things we find to be really appealing, really interesting to us, are all are the the screen shelters and 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 yeah i know we have you have screen shelters at a lot of campgrounds so there's nothing exceptional about that but they're very well built 
Got great scenery. So if you want to be lakeside here, you got to have a screen shelter. And they're they're renovated. I don't know how recent, but we've got a great countertop, power. This even has roll down shades so you don't have to bring tarps with you. So during the, the winter or when, when you've got a heater going or during the summer when you've got some sort of AC going. And I think there's some light here somewhere. Yes, there's two lights. You got a porch you can sit on. It faces west so you can kind of get a sunset. Picnic tables. The ubiquitous lantern hook so we can camp in style. Barbecue pit. Barbecue cooker. And a fire pit. Fire laid in, ready to go. But look at, look, look at your breakfast view. How cool is that? Let's go see some stuff. In site number 13, and, and we'll see that shortly. This is number four. This is a handicap site, paved access to the restroom all of the campsites all 13 of the campsites here at white flint park are 50 amp and water they have a fire ring cooker on the ubiquitous lantern hook of course we've got a metal roofed wood table Nice flat patio area. Yeah. They're pretty nice. They're easy to get leveled. All we had to do was push a button. I don't have to do anything with the wheels. All right, let's go see the facilities. The lighting's not just real great, but check out this bathroom, this shower. This is the handicap shower. Bench and plenty of space. The only detractors, there's no bench, there's no seat for the wheelchair, there's no wheelchair nozzle. It's been kind of cool though. Last night it was really cool. That was awesome. Lots of hot water and there's pressure. Yep, good shower. So if and when we return to White Flint Park, and, and you're gonna want to, you're gonna be wondering this: what's the best campsite? I didn't know, but I think number one is the best campsite at White Flint Park. You're, you're not, you're two sites from the restroom. You're at the beginning or the end of the road, so your patio. Is right there. I mean, his brush is your patio. Super flat site and easy access to firewood because you can gather firewood on a Corps of Engineer campground. Just don't cut down live trees. All right, let's 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 go see some boat ramp stuff. My boat ramp fans. And we're, we're, we were really intimate there for a while, weren't we? My boat ramp fans, they're gonna be a little bit sad. There is no water. Now when the water is at normal level at pool, that's an island. <laughs> right now it's a plateau. They have a courtesy, a courtesy dock. Y'all want to go see the courtesy dock? I don't even know if we can get down there. Yeah, you know, I just don't see any value in walking down there. Because <laughs> uh, we won't be, I won't. You might be able to, but it'd be a challenge for me to climb back up.
All right, we'll go. I'll go find some more stuff. You know, I'm really reaching when when we're looking at the dump station, and there's nothing notable to talk about other than that's a that's a really great dump station. Just don't miss. I have journeyed down. There's the bridge that we keep hearing. The so where the lake is, is um, this that, that's ten feet easy. I think it's more than more than ten, more than ten feet deep. Lots of broken glass down there. Lots of trash on the bottom of the lake. Now I gotta go back up. <laughs> we need to go. I think we need to go over there. Finally, my boat ramp fans get some satisfaction. We have a boat ramp in the water. We're at Leona Park. We were just right over there. And that's that bridge that we keep hearing. And we are standing, we're underwater. If, if the lake was at level. But you can you can see the that pipe at one is is mostly underwater. So I, I'd be there maybe. And, and looking at the marks on the bridge columns, it gets way deeper than that. But not right now. So if you're coming out to White, if, if you're going to camp at White Flint Park and, and you got a boat. This is going to be the closest access point. If you want to take the kids and go swimming and you don't want to climb the, the steep hill, well, I guess you could come out here. Now, there's the old roadbed and bridge abutment where they're, they're fishing out there. Not sure how well that's going to translate on the camera, but I bet that's some deep water out there or as, as deep as you're gonna get on this lake that's so very low. All right, this, make sure you wear uh, solid sole shoes. This, this stuff is hard to walk on, hurt. I made it over to the Winkler Park. I have no idea what's down here. Let's go find out. Let's go see some Winkler Park stuff. So my timing was, was just a little bit off because the mower crew is here at Winkler Park. R rather than getting out and trying to talk over the mowers, I can tell you what you want to know right here. So these are water only sites, 14 day limit. Normally there would be, <laughs> you'd be lakeside. But since the lake is really low, you're, you're creekside. I don't think the restrooms here at Winkler Park are handicap accessible. It's, it certainly uh, it is not an ADA compliant entryway. This is not a vault. Uh, I'll say that much. It's not a vault. Not sanitized regularly. It did smell like urine. Oh, they do have a shower. So, you don't have to worry about filling up your, your tanks because there's no dump station. The dump station would be at what the closest dump dump the closest dump station is at white flint park so if you're wanting to do some real primitive camping and i mean real you get a picnic table i mean real primitive you pick up other people's garbage they're left behind tent there's this is a public access place. I didn't see any burning, just whatever. 
Uh, there was no gate, no, no, <laughs> no attendant. People down here just chopping, chopping up willow trees, I guess, to burn. I don't know. This is the Leon River. Everybody that comes down here just seems to leave their trash behind. Be a nice place to launch a kayak, though. Uh, all right, let's let's go find some more stuff. Owl Creek Park, Belton Lake. There's not much here. There's uh, some picnic tables up there where you come in, and a sign that says "Tent Camping Only." My boat ramp fans are going to be so sad. And the water's like way over there. So we're going to, we're going to get in the truck and we're going to see if we can get closer to the water. But if you're looking for a place to do some tent camping, there have some pretty sights up there. We'll, on our way out, we'll stop and look. We're actually, we're actually in the lake. If the lake were at normal levels. You can see this line right right here anyway we'd, we'd be we would we would be underwater but no worries about that right now thanks to drought conditions but i bet this is a really great fishing spot when the water is up all the structure in the water and out there too all right I'm kind of getting desperate to show you some stuff. Anyway, let's go see if we can find some more stuff. When you've got to go and you're at Owl Creek Park. Better, better than nothing at all, I guess. All right, let's go see uh, Owl Creek Park tent campsites. Number two. That's a good one. There's a tent there, but I don't know if anybody's there. So this is your choice. One and two. Uh, three and four are down there. Or three's down there. I don't know. I don't know. This is the first time I've been here. Five, six, and eight. Seven and eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. So that must be three and four. You could actually do some van, park a van right here. I'm not sure if there's a fee. If there is, it's probably like five bucks a night. I've journeyed downstream a little bit. So the bridge is right there. I had had to had to drive ten miles, <laughs> ten miles to go. About one. This is McGregor Park. Very beautiful benches. Place to do the little barbecue. But if the light was at normal levels, this look how far down the water is from here. But this, this is where the like would, level would normally be. Wow! Apparently the crappie must be running or something because there's a lot of people fishing for a Monday. Not just here, but all up and down. All right, there's one, one, one thing of real interest at McGregor Park. And we're gonna go see that now. If you're into model airplanes, this is the airfield for the Temple Model Airplane Association. AMA members are the only ones supposed to be passed, well, that are supposed to pass that fence. So hope they don't find out. But I, I just had to do a run on the runway. It's not very big. Won't take us very long. 
Let's do a run. We better get some flat air. Better take off. That's it. That's, that's the whole thing. find some more stuff i'm a firm believer in that philosophy you you get what you think about and we we've been contemplating so we're we're really moving fast kind of on this full-time rv experience while we get tranquility base built so while i'm running around doing for you i was headed down a, a the dead end road to a one of these Corps of Engineer campgrounds today. And I, and I saw, and y'all are gonna think this is nuts, but I saw I saw this sitting on the side of that county road and I, well, I, by someone's driveway, by, by someone's driveway. And there was a piece of paper of some kind. And I was, had the camera running, so I didn't stop. I went down there, shot some footage and I came back and I stopped. And I got out and I looked at the piece of paper that was laying on, that was right by this. It was actually taped to this. And this is what it says. <laughs> She'd been after me to get another one because I sold the last one because I said, you know, we don't, I don't ever use this thing. Well, now we we're probably gonna have a use for it you know at, at this this campground the the showers are really nice but that last corps of engineer campground the, the showers weren't nice at all so th that would have been really handy to have she could take a longer shower now i just need to come up with some a better way to hang it off that ladder Right now I've got it tied and strapped and that bad boy ain't going anywhere. But it's not easy to deploy. But I it's just if you if you're the person that put that on the side of the road, thank you so much. We'll get some use out of it. That that's a <laughs> that's a that's a heck of a deal. Alright, I gotta go cook some supper. Not sure how it happens, but Somehow the closing got it. It's not on file. The, the, the closeout for this video is just it's gone. Wherever those video files go when they go away, I got a bunch of them there. And I'll probably be able to create a whole montage if I ever find them. Anyway, this video's ran way long, but we covered a lot of ground. And, and I mean that literally. I, I covered a lot of ground putting this video together. White Flint Park, I really liked it with the exception of the highway noise. Uh, and I'm not sure why it was so much louder because I've visited the other campgrounds and you, you really couldn't hear the road that much. And I, it's got to be because of the bridge over the, the, the canyon. So I think it's well worth a visit. It's a great waypoint stop. It's not too far off 35 uh and it's you know there wasn't a whole lot of people there during the week there were not a whole lot of people there while we were there monday we got there sunday afternoon and left wednesday well worth the visit the other areas with the exception of the little primitive campground i think that would be a beautiful place to camp during spring and fall when there's water in the lake Otherwise, it'd be a great place to camp now because nobody, nobody's there. There's no water. The other day use areas, yeah, it'd be great if there was water. Otherwise, this right now is not so much. But White Flint Park is definitely worth the visit. There you have it. That's the end of this video. We're going to move on down from here, from white or from belton lake we traveled south so next 
Next week, you're going to see another Belton Lake property, and then you'll see Lake Georgetown. So I've got I've got several weeks worth of footage that we'll be we'll be rolling out. Anyway, I'm rambling. Hey. If this is your first visit to Do Derby, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the north end of Belton Lake. Well worth your visit. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. Remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. And it's for you and for my patrons. I'm most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?